Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1072. And if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, this is a follow up on last video. But last video, we were adding, given three inputs the product, the begin month, and the end month. So if I change this to product one, boom, those are the numbers we're adding. But now in this video, we want to see how to add this conditional formatting. So no matter what we select up here, it conditionally formats it. Now let's go over to this sheet right here. Now this conditional formatting is going to come from a formula, a logical formula that gives us true or false. Because right now product 2 February to April, 1, 2, 3, all three cells have to have a true to say yes, I'm going to format this. So we're going to build our logical true false formula down here in the same size region because this formula is not particularly straightforward. We'll build it when we get it right. Then we'll copy the formula, highlight this range, open up the dialog box, and paste it there. Now the first thing is we have one, two, three things. So I'm going to start just with the February. Can we get uh, somehow conditional formatting from this column header and this input here to format down here? First, I want to look at the columns function. Columns looks at a range and says how many columns there are. Now, we're sitting in B12, so I'm going to do dollar sign B12 colon B12. That's an expandable range with the B locked here, but not here. So as we move this way, Control Enter, it will expand. So when I look any at any point here, you can see that B's locked, but that's not. When I copy this down, at any point, boom, now it's looking at this row, counting the columns. By the way, there's a few ways that we could solve this problem. This particular problem has months here. And we'll actually see a second trick if you have months like this. But if you didn't have months, like you had some other things here, then uh, this first formula will work in uh, most cases. All right, now I have this series of numbers, and I need to somehow compare that February to this. So watch this. I'm going to say, are you greater than or equal to? And then I'm going to use match. Match to look up February, F4 to lock it within this range right here, F4, and then comma 0. Now what does match do? It returns the relative position. So 1, 2, February is the relative position in this list. Columns is a, a formula number incrementer. This will just give me uh, the relative position. So when I control enter and copy it over and down. Oh, OK. So every all of these columns are bigger than February. Now let's just. And watch this. I have this whole range highlighted, and I'm going to, in the active cell, hit F2. Now let's do that same trick, but let's change this right here. Control Enter. Now everything below it is highlighted as true. F2, uh, OK. For February, I need the greater than. But we're at least seeing how that works, Control Enter to populate it. But we need two things. We need greater than or equal to February and less than or equal to April to just isolate this little section of truths. So watch this. Before I use the AND function, let me just change this. Actually, watch this. I'm going to drag this down here. Now it's comparing April, Control Enter. So now everything above it, if I were to change this to less than, Control Enter, everything below it. So now I need both of those things together. I need to get true, true uh, for this little section here. So I'm going to combine those two logical tests inside the AND function, logical 1, logical 2. Now I'm looking at April, and I always need to be less than or equal to April, which is correct. Watch this. I'm going to actually come down, boop, highlight Control C. Come to the end, type a comma, and in that logical to control V. Now, I need this to point to February. So I'm going to double click that and click on February, and then F4 to lock it. And I need this greater than. Remember, we need to be greater than or equal to February and less than or equal to a uh, April. All right. Or the cotton. Yeah. So Control Enter, and now we have our little uh, section there. All right, so we got the February and April. Now we need to add our final 
third condition, so in this active cell F2. And I can either do it at the beginning for logical 1, or I could come to the end, and I see that logical 2, comma to get to logical 3. Now, when we highlighted this range, it's parallel to the same range here, right? But that active cell is very important. I'm going to build the formula from that point of view. So I'm going to click on this cell right here, and that needs to be locked one, two, three times. The whole row needs to look at A8. But when I move it down, copy it down, it needs to move to the next one. So I lock the column and out the reference, and I say, are you equal to product 2? That one needs F4 locked in all directions. When I control Enter to populate this, there's our magic conditional formatting formula. If I change this to January, boom. If I change it to April, to October, there we have it. If I change this to product 3, wow, that is amazing. Now I do want to show you that this particular formula here is, is uh, pretty robust. I could type anything here. Now if I come up here and select HIN and uh, HIN and T, so then we have HIN and T for product 3. And then boom, there it's all working. So this formula here is going to work no matter what these inputs are here. Control Z, 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 Z. Uh, but we have months here, so watch this. Here's a great trick for all sorts of uses. I'm going to use the month function. Now, the month usually needs a serial number. You can even see that the screen tip says that. But if I select January, and I'm going to hit the F4 key because I'm going to copy this down. It needs to look at January and over, and it's going to look at each the cell reference will move. If I close parentheses right here, this doesn't work because it goes, what? Month is expecting a serial number, and it sees a text string. Uh-uh. But watch this. You can ampersand the number 1 before or after. So this is after or before, and it will know Jan 1 represents January 1. And sure enough, check that out. Not only will it give us, uh, it'll give us incrementing numbers 1 to 12. F2 to now compare the column header. Notice at any point it's looking at the column header, right? So now F2, and I could say, hey, column header, are you greater than or equal to month? And I'll do the same trick here, but that has to be F4 in all directions, ampersand 1, right? And then Control Enter, they're all true. So now if I change this to April, right? Then it's only those ones are greater than. F2. Now I can do that same trick here. And there's the first logical test, comma. There's the second one, Control V. Now I need to simply change the second uh, month that's looking at April to October, F4, and then change it to less than. And come to the end, close parentheses. So on the end, we're done, Control Enter. And there we have the uh, April to October working. I mean, that's pretty cool right there. And if you, you look at them, I don't know, that one's probably a little bit easier than that one. Maybe not. But we can simply add F2, and I'm going to put the third condition in logical one. I'm going to say, hey, that product 3, F4 to lock it in all directions. Are you equal to this row header? And this needs to be locked one, two, three times on the F4, just the column, but not the row, and a comma. Control Enter. And so now if we come up here and change this to April, change this one to February and product 2, boom, there we have our conditional format. So you can pick whichever one you want. I'm going to pick this one. Oh, actually, I only need the uppermost left cell because I'm going to highlight it like this. And that's going to be the active cell. So I'm going to take the parallel cell down here, highlight, Control C in edit mode, highlight this, at home, conditional formatting, new rule or Alt-O-D, 
Alt N, arrow, 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 tab. So use formula, Control V. And then I can add whatever formatting I want. I think I'll add that one there. No, how about this one? OK, click OK, click OK, lots of OK. And then boom. Just that one cell, April to April. Change it to October. Change this to product three. Boom. So conditional formatting to highlight a particular product from a and then from a start and end month. Two different formulas. All right, we'll see you next trip.